Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House. I am your host, Khadija. First of all, I want to say rest in power. Uh, I was informed yesterday that Dr. Sebi made his transition. Uh, and I love that brother. And for those of y'all who may not be familiar with Dr. Sebi, Dr. Sebi um, was a doctor who... Let's see, Lisa Lopez from the group TLC, she was always in Honduras um, being, uh, actually detoxing <laughs> from this world. And because he has a compound in Honduras and um, he's an herbologist, he, he, was, um, he lived in a rainforest and a mountain and he was talking about how the medicines of today have their root inside all of these plants from the uh, earth, rainforest. Dr. Sabi was a brilliant person and, and, and he made sure that you understood that having an alkaline body was what keeps you alive. And that's why I was so disturbed to find out that he had passed away under such mysterious circumstances. I mean that he had been in jail for a couple months or whatever and, and I don't want to spread any rumors but there was some type of prison riot and he might have survived that but then he's you know passed away now I'm sure more information is going to come out later but what I want to say is there's a lot of mis mystery surrounding it and I'm just totally uncomfortable with it totally uncomfortable with it so Rest in power, my dear brother, and um, your work is always going to go on. And for those of you who are conscious about your health and want to make those changes like I have been doing, then you need to find out uh, and go to Dr. Savi's website. His, he has family that is going to continue his work. His work will never die. So I just want to put that out there. Now, secondly, I wanted to do a video about um, giving your power away. Because the more those of us who have been in toxic, abusive relationships, the more we begin to clear uh, the fear, obligation, and guilt out of our lives, then we're starting to understand that Mm. it was kind of like a voluntary prison that we were in because we could have released ourselves and freed ourselves at any moment however with that being said because of the programming that we possibly received as children made it impossible for us to take the key and turn put it in the lock and turn the door and get out of the prison and so for that reason we must heal we got to go back and clean those old wounds out I know this very uncomfortable and some people say why I'm doing okay oh I'm, I'm doing fine Nah, if you are having problems in your relationships the same problem if you are not showing up authentically and everything that you are regurgitating is information that you learn from church your mama, the streets, um, the teacher, society, but that is not, it may not be necessarily what you feel deep down in your heart by yourself when you alone, then that's what you got to work to undo. And the reason why your mind works like that is because the people that were in, that were in charge of downloading you with confidence and support and all the things that parents are supposed to offer children they didn't have it to give so you find yourself in a situation where you have learned to grow up and adjust your personality according to how the big people are feeling today 
So it's not fair to any child because the child is not supported in him, his or her authentic self. And they are being made, pretty much created to be something that they're really not. Like a slave. That's why I say the whole country is narcissist. That is why the DSM <laughs> removed it from the manual in 5. They removed it. Because the more you look at it and you see this stuff on a spiritual level. How can you not be narcissistic in America? You have white supremacy that's permeating the whole, running the whole machine. Okay? And these people stole the land from the Indian and set up shop. And they can stand on podiums and say stuff like, let's take our country back. And all kinds of crazy stuff where a Native American is looking at them like, what the hell? And the worst part is you dare not say anything about this. Because if you do, then you're a troublemaker and you're racist. Once you begin to start exercising these toxic demons out of your life, you're going to see they're all over the place. And you um, have black toxic folks and you certainly have white toxic folks that... Why they say that they understand and they mm, hate that this is happening to you. Well, shit, they don't want to lose their privilege and they certainly don't want to tell the truth. Because if I did and I had to really share the wealth. And I'm talking about these systems of government. Now, I'm not talking about some white person that grew up in my neighborhood as an individual. Okay, Once that system understands that that's what the, the, the real heart of the matter is they're going to fight tooth and nail to keep you believing that you whatever it is that they're trying to get you to believe about yourself to continue to be a narcissistic feed for the country a narcissistic feed for the government so once you begin to unfold this kind of craziness, you're gonna you're gonna see it for what it really is. Um, how can you how can you have beings that <laughs> are healthy thinking when the whole platform that was laid and the foundation was laid was built on thievery, murder, mayhem, destruction, uh, <laughs> and, and to me that right there in itself is narcissistic to think that. Oh, we did all of this and everything should be perfect. We did all of this to human nature, to humankind. And there should be no repercussions and everything is wonderful. In fact, to the point where we're still out here today in 2016 saying these people are wrong because they're tired of being forced to believe and do things and to see things the way you want them to see it which is not really based in reality and the more I have to suppress what I actually feel the more pressure my uh, pressure cooker boils they know it it's narcissism all over the planet and it starts right here in the United States of America the master narcissist land <laughs> And at least the book that they decided to use to detect everybody's madness had enough forewithal to take that shit about that book. Because they knew it's crazy. It's absolutely insane. So they couldn't continue. Not with that one. Just like they couldn't continue with Dreptomania. Okay? So for those of y'all who want to push the, the DSM for whatever uh, madness that you want to use it for, take those two extremes. Okay? And remember, being in a toxic relationship will hurt you health-wise. And for that reason alone, you have to go back to loving yourself and taking care of yourself. And getting up outside and going to get some sun 
and doing all the things that this toxic um, predatory relationship took away from you you got to figure out a way to get it back and so it'll start with the diet that you start taking eating more live food back into your life it'll make you start feeling better about yourself it really will and I got that from Dr. Sadie okay so if you like what you hear I'm gonna go now please like and subscribe and um, again rest in power my dear brother you are now an ancestor still giving us what we need and for all of you out there, we'll see you next time in the mental house. Hey, if you like what you hear, please subscribe.